everyone, it's Linny from Stampin' with Linny. I'm just popping on really quickly today to do a very quick masculine card for you. Um, you may have already seen um, a photo of this on my Facebook page and I'm just going to make um, a second one that is very similar to it, um, just oriented a little bit different so you can see how I did it. I'm just going to uh, make sure all my technology is working, so just bear with me for a minute. If you can hear me and see me, give me a thumbs up so that um, I can know that everything's working. That would be great. And if I don't know you um, already, let me know where you're from. Would be great to know where you're watching from. So for these, these cards, I've used the designer series paper called He's the Man. Uh, and I'm just going to quickly show you the papers in that pack before we start. I've already chopped into um, some of them, so just bear with me for a second. So the paper I've used on my card is uh, this one, which has got gorgeous um, barbecue sort of um, uh, images on it. It's got um, things like a cow, cows, pigs, um, knives and forks and barbecue implements and sauces and things like that. And that is the back of that one, which is the other side that I used on my card. And then we have this really gorgeous camping designs with the, the motorhomes and the little caravans and tents and trees and that's uh, really pretty and there's the back side of that and then we have a lovely diamond pattern in the um, uh, looks like the early express early espresso color and a nice uh, another smaller diamond pattern on the back of that and I'm pretty sure that uh, as well as early espresso, I'm pretty sure that colour is Sahara Sand. And here's a gorgeous vintage cars and um, bikes type, motorbikes type pattern with a nice little, that's like a metal, uh, what do they call it, checker plate or um, I'm not sure if the camera will focus on that, but it's... Uh, that pattern yep there we go and then we've got the gorgeous glasses and ties uh, bow ties moustache shoes that kind of pattern with a very simple um, very thin line uh, check pattern on the back of that um, but as well in this suite you also get a sheet of die uh, you get two sheets of die cuts actually um, now, I can't show them all to you because um, obviously there's a lot missing. Um, I put them all into a, a little baggie actually, um, the ones I haven't used yet because they kept falling out. But um, the great thing about this um, paper paper is firstly that you get the die cuts, so the card that I've done there is very little stamping in it and also um, it's a really uh, now how big is that oh drats fancy doing a video without having your catalogue nearby hang on a second oh let's have a look let's see if i can find it and I'll tell you, I'm pretty sure there are two sheets of um, die cuts, but I just want to double check how many sheets of paper are in the pack. Um, yeah, so it is a normal size pack. It's 12 sheets, but you get two each of the designs that I showed you. Um, so yeah, you get two each of five double-sided designs and the two die cut sheets. 
So it is a fantastic pack for masculine cards. And uh, with Father's Day this weekend, uh, that is why I wanted to use, use this paper. Uh, as you can see, I've done absolutely no stamping on the front. This is one of the die cuts. Uh, and all I've done is I have cut my paper at an angle and also cut my card base at the same angle. So the only stamping I have done is the Happy Father's Day in the middle. And this piece here um, is the uh, reverse of that paper. So because when you cut that, I'll tell you the measurements of that angle in a minute, but you can really put it at, cut it at any angle you like. Um, so because I cut that piece, a corner off that piece there, if I flip that over, that's not going to fit uh, because it's not um, an even, even measured. Uh, an, it's not an equilateral triangle. There you go. <laughs> That's the term for it. So I cut two sheets um, and just when I cut this one, I flipped it over before I cut it, which means... Um, that, is that the bit that goes with that? Just let me, no, 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 no. Um, oh, that bit's already on there, yeah. Um, sorry, that bit goes with that bit. And I've lost my other bit. Hang on a second, it's got to be on my desk here somewhere. Um, no, that's right. Yeah, so that's the second piece that I that I cut, and that is the bit that I cut off that piece. Yeah, that's right. I was doing my head in there for a minute, and then the piece that I cut off this one is going to make my other card, like so. Um, and you just need to be careful when you're um, doing this design that. If you've got a directional a piece of designer series paper that you watch what direction you're cutting it now this paper although it looks directional the images um, some of them are upside down some of them are sideways some of them are right way up so it doesn't really matter it's these pieces here that are the trick so what I am going to do for my second card uh, instead of having this one opening in that portrait style I'm having this one opening in that way and I'm actually going to flip that around stick that there and then I'm going to have that piece up the top there so same idea just upside down and so what we need to do uh, is you need to measure what you want your where you want to cut your angle because you're going to cut your cardstock um, the same way. So I measured this at about six centimetres, but as I say, you can make the angle whatever you like. So I've come in with my cardstock and I've measured six centimetres up from the bottom, that bit there, and I'm going to cut the angle from my score line here down to my pencil mark so I'll just do that so to cut on an angle like that if you've never done that before all you do is put your two um, points right in the center of your track and it's actually easier to see when you close the guide uh, because when you close the guide, you just make sure those two parts are as close to in the middle of the guide as you um, can eyeball it. And then simply cut that off. And that's it. I've already cut the designer series paper. So all we need to do now is stick things on pretty much. Hope everyone's having a great week. 
Um, I'm making, I've made both of these, well, I've made my first one for um, Father's Day. I'm actually um, going to give that to my husband. And uh, I don't really want to say who I'm going to give this other Father's Day card to because just in case he sees this video before we see him on the weekend. <laughs> Which uh, he would know because he knows we're seeing him on the weekend. And no, it's not my dad. <laughs> Alrighty. So that's that one stuck down. And now we're going to go to the inside of the card and stick that piece down as well. Just make sure before you put before you glue it down that you've got the um the angle right. Uh, if if your your paper's a little bit off as far as um the measurements go, you can always trim bits off after you've stuck it down. Okay. And that is pretty close, I think. There we go. Those colours go great together. I'm pretty sure this colour is... Oh, I'm gluing my finger then. I'll get that off later. Um, I'm pretty sure that colour is Cajun Craze. Let's get that glue off my finger before I keep going any further. So this time the die cut I've decided to use is this one. Holy smokes, you're the best. And then once again, I will stick... The um, I will sorry um, stamp Happy Father's Day on the inside, but I thought that looked a little bit meh, just sitting there like that. Um, for starters, it's to me it looks too small. Um, as you can see, this one the die cut is a bit larger. So and I didn't want to make them identical, so I cut. A couple of labels to layer them. Now you're going to ask me what die cuts I used for these and I can't remember but I think they might be retired. Um, I will find out what what retired set of dies it is and I'll put it in the um, description after I finish the video. So the reason I did two layers of die cuts is because of the colour matching. So I didn't want to layer that just onto black because the black and the black just doesn't look right on the designer paper. So I thought I would do one layer of the same colour that's in this, which I think is pumpkin pie. And then the black on top, so the, the black underneath the die cut with the greeting on it, I think really makes the greeting pop a bit. Uh, and then the pumpkin pie under the black makes the black stand out a bit more. It stops it um, disappearing into the designer series paper. So I am going to stick these two labels together just with glue I think and then I'm going to wrap some twine around them I think before I put the the greeting on top that looks about right Okay, so yeah, I want some twine under that. So just wondering whether I will do, I just did a real messy um, bunch of twine under that one. I'm using the linen thread for this because I just really liked how the colour matched the designer series paper. Or oh, whether I will tie it, just tie it straight. Um, Hmm. What do you 
think? Oh, Christine's watching. Hi, Christine. Nice to see you. Um, what do you reckon, Christine? Should I try a, a few layers of just straight across underneath the greeting or do you think I should do a hot mess? I'll show you how I did the hot mess. I <laughs> literally just rolled a, pulled a heap off, bunched it all up and went like that. <laughs> That's pretty much what I did. You want a hot mess, Christine. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. That actually is surprisingly harder to do. <laughs> that I, I tend to like the hot mess as well so yeah let's do that okay all right so this is uh, one way to use up use up your twine that's for sure and I probably um there's probably a more economical way of uh of doing it so you don't use as much but yeah I usually I'm so conservative with twine and everything that let's just go for it, hey? Okay. All right. Um, I'm actually going to pop this up on dimensionals too, I think. I haven't really made all these decisions before the video, but... doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't mean to, I thought that was a, oh there you go, I didn't mean to put four on there. There you go, the extra one stuck to my fingers. Oh well. Oh, do I put the hot mess under there? Oh yes, let's do that. Yeah, what do you think Christine? Mm. Oh, I don't know now. Okay, help me decide, Christine. So it's either a bunch under there like that with that on top or we put the bunch under there I have the greeting. Hmm. Oh, gee. Decisions, decisions. Uh, that's okay. Christine says you prefer under the whole thing. Okay, that's what we're doing. I'm not good at making decisions. I'm very indecisive and normally I have all my decisions made before I do videos. And you know what? I thought, let's just wing it. But the video would have been a lot longer if I'd have been making that decision myself. So thank you, Christine. Apart from watching this video, Christine, what have you been up to today? And Christine says, but it's my card. Yes, I know. But <laughs> I love other people making my decisions for me. I am just going to put some uh, double-sided tape under my hot mess. Just to help hold all that a little bit before I stick the label on top. Okay. 
we just make sure, I'm going to make sure there's enough sticking out. And that looks about right. There we go. That'll do. Okay, this bit here is uh, going to go wandering, so we might just sum up him down. And there's an end up here that's going to go wandering and get a bit droopy too. There we go. Oh, yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Just push some of that up here a bit. And there we go. Back down and um, I will put uh, dimensionals on the back of this. Just making sure that I don't put any dimensionals right at the top there. Okay. Oh, it's Christine's son's birthday today. Oh, lovely. Happy birthday to your son. And your grandson's having a stay at your place. Lovely. Oh, very nice. Well, I hope you're enjoying your family time. I'm sure you are, Christine. No doubt. So we're going um, up to Sydney tomorrow to see one of our sons and um, daughter-in-law and grandchildren. So I'm looking forward to that. Excuse my head in the camera. So I'll make sure I get that as even as possible. There we go. Alright, so there's not as much sticking out there as you'd probably expect, but that's the way it is when you just have it in a bunch. And then we've got that inside and uh, I will stamp happy birthday, oh, sorry, happy Father's Day on that a bit later. Uh, but I am also going to put some of these um, gems on the, the metallic. Uh, they're the rustic metallic dots. I really do love them on masculine cards and the colours go great with this paper. And Christine says tomorrow you're having a day oh with Carrie Annette and Annette card making. Oh lovely. Yeah. Sorry, I would have loved to have come. <laughs> oh, another time. I miss all you girls. Alright, so where am I going to put these? I'll do three like I did on my other card. And um, I think I'll go one, two, three. There we go. How simple is that? So now I've got two Father's Day cards all ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, make sure you have a look on my Facebook page uh, to see what's happening in September. Uh, if you are watching this on replay and you don't already get my newsletter, um, make Please sign up for it if you'd like my monthly newsletter because uh, you'll find out all the um, things that are happening, all the specials, and um, there's some there's a, some great specials that are happening in September, which are called weekly deals. Stampin' Up haven't had weekly deals for oh, 
I'm sure it's been a few years since they had weekly deals. But for every week in September, they're having a different range of products that will be on sale. So um, I will be reminding everyone each week when the specials change, when the discounted products change. So check that out. But if you sign up for my newsletter, you automatically become part of my VIP group which means you get the chance to earn a free gift from me with a qualifying order. So every month I, um, I give free, send out free gifts in the post to people who've placed qualifying orders every month. And all you have to do to be in my VIP group is sign up for my newsletter. I will put a link to my newsletter sign up in the description of the video when, it's, when I'm finished. So check that out and um, there's also um, another thing that's happening on the 1st of October which is World Card Making Day. So you can also read about that on my Facebook page and I'll be posting a bit more about what I'm doing on that day as we get closer to a bit further into um, September. So I haven't sent my September newsletter out yet. Uh, but I will be in the next couple of days. So um, watch out for that. And I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And for all the dads in Australia, I hope you have a fabulous Father's Day. So take care, everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching, Christine, and anyone who watched on replay. Make sure you pop on and um, leave a comment even if you're watching on replay. Thank you. Bye.